We've leveled our drive forms. We've proceeded through the story and got through the Cave of Remembrance alive. Now, we have the One-Winged Angel standing before us. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4 Extras video. In this video, we are going to tackle the one, the only, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. We actually defeated him in Kingdom Hearts 1 without any real trouble. Kingdom Hearts 2, he is significantly harder than he used to be back in the day. So, let's look at my setup real quick to let you guys know what I'm rocking with and what I'm going to be going into Sephiroth with. Guard is an absolute must. I'd also get rid of Upper Slash, you don't need it. Horizontal Slash, keep it. Retaliating Slash, keep it. Finishing Leap, Slap Shot, need it. Get rid of Dodge Slash, no need. Flash Step, Slide Dash, it's all good. Vicinity Break, Guard Break, get rid of it. Explosion, awesome. Aerial Sweep, you don't really need it. In fact, um... I would say, you know what, it doesn't matter, you can keep those if you want. The other incredibly important thing is counter guard. Make sure that you have counter guard. I also have auto limit because limit is so powerful in this uh, this fight. Um, I do not use quick run, I would rather glide. Quick run sometimes gets messed up here. Uh, take away combo master, but pretty much everything else have equipped. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as you have everything pretty much that you can have equipped. Finishing plus is great. Anything that boosts your finishing moves are going to be good. Uh, no negative combo that's not needed. Uh, I also got De Decisive Pumpkin on Sora because it has combo boost on it. So it does, it does you know, a ton of damage there. That is probably the best Keyblade to use for this fight, unless, of course, you have the Ultima Weapon, which we don't at this point. I also have basically the best stuff that I could I could have right now. Unfortunately, I don't have another accessory. The only thing I have is that Draw Ring. Uh, I also have Aethers, uh, because there is a very wonderful opportunity in this fight to heal up, and we'll be showing that. So, this is in the Crystal Fissure, uh, right next to the Great Maw over in Radiant Garden. And this only happens, you know, once you're done with Radiant Garden. Look who's up here. God, he is so attractive. All right, let's talk to Sephiroth. What is Cloud doing? Beats me. Hmm. By the way, you three, who are you? Well, I'm not sure we should tell you. Well, that's an interesting sword you're carrying. It's the Keyblade! I see. So that's a Keyblade. And I suppose you must be its chosen wielder. So what if I am? I wonder if it won't change its mind once I defeat you. And right off the bat, as soon as the fight begins, you want to make sure that you are ready to use a reaction command or dodge roll. He will do the same attack no matter what. Now, I want to slow something down and show you guys real quick. This is post-commentary, of course. See, as his sword went over his left-hand shoulder, that is when you want to use guard. This will actually allow you to guard, counter-attack, combo, end with an explosion, which will chunk him. This will actually create a feedback loop, so you can keep him here almost the entire time. Just keep doing the same thing. That is phase one. That is all you have to do, and you will be able to get this guy down to at least half super, super easily. As long as you don't screw up this combo, and as long as you don't use Finishing Leap to actually uh, make his retaliate value even, even higher. If you reach it too fast, he'll do a different combo instead. So use this. Explosion. Perfect. Keep this up. Unfortunately, I missed, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use Reflega here. But real quick, I saved myself by using, using Churiga. That's where Leaf Bracer kicks in. I take no damage whatsoever, and I can go right back into him. Now, I have him in a very specific spot here on this lip. He's going to teleport. He's going to knock me into the air. Now, it's important. Don't use Aerial Dodge. Instead, use Square to use your Retaliating Smash Strike and then right into Horizontal Slash. And this way, you'll be able to get a combo in. Be ready, of course, to use that Reaction Command whenever it comes up. That's something you should just be ready to press Triangle whenever. Now, this is still Phase 1. Actually, we pushed him into Phase 2, it's looking like but that's okay because he's still attacking us with the combo we got kind of lucky here now he is now going to power up into his beautiful purple form we want to go back to where i'm heading which is that lip that i was just telling you guys about luckily we were able to use reflega to block that we didn't have to use a reaction command nothing like that we want to keep him here as long as possible because he's actually not going to go anywhere this is perfect positioning if you can get him here you'll be just fine now, he's showing off one of his moves. This is probably the easiest move he does. You can you can glide out of it. You can just run out of it. You can quick run out of it. If you took that, 
or you can just run towards the and be totally fine. Uh, easiest attack to deal with. Now, Descend Heartless Angel. This is his attack that will bring you to one health if you don't interrupt it. All you have to do is hit him once. We have him in a final combo thing, so I'm going to end the post commentary. Guys, enjoy the live commentary. Yeah! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That was a clean fight. That was a clean fight, I say. How'd you like that? I admit you're very skilled. But apparently Cloud is the only one who can eliminate me. <laughs> Tell Cloud to come here. Tell him Sephiroth is looking to settle things. And we get the trophy, the One-Winged Angel. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We can talk to Sephiroth if we want. Tell Cloud to get over here. Say that Sephiroth wants to settle things. All right, Sephi boy. Let's head over to Cloud. May I, while heading to Cloud, may I recommend maybe saving the game after you have just defeated a pretty hard boss? We can head to the world map just to make this a little bit faster for ourselves. Choose to go right to Merlin's. Guys, that was a clean fight, you know what I mean? That was fun. That was a good, that was a good fight. We'll just skadoodle all the way over to, like, the, the marketplace. And then Cloud is over here, just standing here. What's up, Cloud? Have you seen Sephiroth? Of course. He's in the dark depths. I see. So I guess it's time we settled this. Oh. Guys, this part is amazing. Hold on to your seat, Cloud. So, now we have to go back ourselves to where we just fought Sephiroth. And, here, talk to Sephiroth again. God, he looks so good. All right. Did you give him my message? Maybe. Sorry to keep you, Sephiroth. Cloud, you'll never let go of the darkness. Shut up. You'll never let go of your past. Shut up! Cloud, get him! Absurd. Defeating me is meaningless. You know that more than anyone, Cloud. No matter how many times I fall, your darkness keeps calling me back. Wrong. Tifa, stay back! How can I? I want to help you. You can't. He'll never let go of the darkness. He doesn't have to. He just needs someone to surround him with light. The darkness will be there, Sephiroth, but in a place you can't reach. Is that right? Let's see what this light of yours can do. Ha! No! Look out! You can have my light. The light doesn't suit you. I just... don't know. Stop! Where'd they go? Do you think they made it back to their own world? They went somewhere else. Cloud went to fight a great battle. To defeat the darkness inside him. Gone again. What will you do now? Hmm. 
Guess I'll keep looking. Got any leads? Don't worry. Light is easy to find. I gotta go. Here, this is for helping me out. But wait, when did we help? And we will get the Keyblade Fenrir. Has great range and strength, but maximum ground and mid-air combos are decreased by one. This is actually going to be very useful in future bosses, as well, of course, the Mushroom 11 uh, secret side quest that is found in Timeless River. Now, real quick, I also want to show you guys what item, uh, what level we did this at, which was 76. Sora was 76, Donald and Goofy were all 76. And I figure I can also show you what abilities I had. Now, uh... It's kind of important to, to look at this and, and see that I had a lot of abilities that I actually didn't use, like Finishing Leap, all of that. Because I stuck to the very tried and true method of keeping him in that feedback loop. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what abilities I had, and also my customize. You'll see that I had Thunder Gut, Reflega, Kuriga, and Ether. I actually didn't use any Ethers during that fight at all, but Kuriga, as you saw, saved my butt, and so did Reflega. Anyways, that is it for me in the Sephiroth Guide video. I am so sorry for the delay. I know it's been a while, but hopefully no more delays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And also, never give up, never surrender to Sephiroth.